Today we're going to be working on CodeQuen as well as continue to Dove and create our very own local GitHub Copilot. Now you must be wondering how we're going to do that. So as you can see CodeQuen 1.5 is actually available on Olama which means you can run this locally on your machine. After that all you have to do is integrate this with continue.dev and continue.dev is available in VS Code which means you get your very own free to use GitHub Copilot for yourself and you don't have to pay a single penny for that. Now there must be a question in your mind why are we using CodeQuen and not any other coding model? Well if you go to the eval plus leaderboard you can see that CodeQuen is beating almost all of the coding models out there and it is quite lightweight which means you can run this locally on your machine. And this is not the only leaderboard. If you go to the big code models leaderboard over at Hugging Face, you can see that it is in the top three big code models and you can actually get it from Hugging Face as well. So this is the reason why we are using CodeQuen. It is free and open source as well as it is ranking in the top three in almost all the coding leaderboards out there. So that was all about CodeQuad and what we're gonna do today. So without further chatter, now let's actually jump right into it and start building our very own local GitHub Copilot. So first things first, we will need to install Olama on our machine. So I'm gonna go and click on download here. After that, you can choose your operating system because I'm using Linux. I'm gonna go with this script here. Let's go to my terminal. And here on my terminal, all I have to do is just paste in that script and hit enter. This will download Olama locally on your machine. Once you're done downloading it, now you will have to get the model on your machine. So let's go back to Olama web page now. Let's go to the model section here and let's go search for code Gwen. All you have to do is just copy this snippet here. Let's go back to our terminal and paste that snippet here and hit enter. Now it is actually pulling code Gwen from the Olama's model library and downloading that into your local machine. It's just going to take a few minutes to download this and once you're done doing that you can actually host this locally on your machine and there you go now your model is locally installed and up and running now let's move to the next part which is setting up continue.dev inside your vs code so let's open up our vs code here i'm going to go to the extension marketplace and i'm going to search for continue.dev let's go and install this extension there you go it is installed now now all you have to do is just click on this icon here, the continue icon, and you can add your LLM. So you can either add API keys for your models or you can add local models as well. I'm gonna go with the local model option here and let's go and hit continue. Now it is showing you how you can set up your local LLM, but of course we did that already. So I'm gonna go with continue. And here in the bottom part, we can see all the models that are available locally to us. And as you can see, we have the Olama code Gwen which is running locally on my machine. So I can choose this model here and now we can use CodeQuen inside our VS Code. So I'm gonna go and say hello here, specify the language in which we want the response. So it's gonna be English, let's go and hit enter. And there you go, as you can see, it is completely working. So let's say I wanted to raise some code in Python. So let's go with the very basic hello world program at first. So I'm gonna go and say generate hello world code in Python. And there you go, it was quite quick. So let's go and create a Python file here. I'm gonna go and say test.py. Now let's go and actually generate code using CodeQuen. So I'm gonna go and hit Control L. This will open up the continuum.dev chat where we can enter our prompt. So let's say I want a simple code of swapping two numbers. So I'm gonna go with something like generate the code to swap two numbers. And let's go and hit enter. And as you can see, it actually generated the whole code for me within a couple of seconds. And as soon as you click on accept all, this code will be saved to your file. Now you can run this and check out the results. And there you go. You get the numbers and the numbers after they are swapped. So pretty cool, right? Now that was just the code generation part. But what if you want to use the autocomplete feature just like in GitHub Copilot? So all you have to do is go to the settings button here and it will open up this config.json file in which you will have to go to the autocomplete model section here and here you will have to enter the model name which is for me is going to be code Gwen. and after that all you have to do is just save this file and let's go back to our python file and here if you start typing you can see you get different suggestions all you have to do is hit tab and it will accept those autocomplete suggestions for you and this is how you can actually use autocomplete feature inside continue.dev using this amazing large language model which is code web. Now let's say I want to add in this code on the go. What I need to do is just select this code just like here and then I will have to go with control L again. It will copy the selected snippet inside the chat and here I can prompt to do some editings inside this code. 
So let's say I want to change the variable name from num1 to number one and from num2 to number two. So let's go and do that. Change the variable names from num1 to number one and num2 to number two. Let's go and hit enter and there you go. Now all you have to do is just click on this insert and it will insert the code inside your file which will replace the already selected. So that was just the editing part, but what if I want to debug a code? So for that, let's go and first generate a code. So I'm gonna go and generate some code first. So let's go with the class in bubble sword. I'm gonna go and say generate the code for bubble sword here. And there you go. Now you can actually go and insert this inside the file. So I'm gonna go and do that. Let's go and insert the usage method as well. Now let's save the file, but this is a bug free code. Let's go and induce a few bugs inside this code. So I'm going to go and induce some random bugs. So there you go. Now you have a couple of bugs inside your code. All you have to do is just select all of this code and hit control L. This will copy this code snippet inside the chat. Now you can actually interact with this buggy code. So all you have to do is just say debug this code as simple as that and hit enter. And it will generate the debugged version of the code. So if you scroll down, you can see the debugged code here. All you have to do is just insert hit and there you go. Now you get your code debugged for you. Within a couple of seconds, you didn't do much. All you did was enter a few words in natural language and code when did all for you. Now let's save this and let's go and actually check out the results. And there you go, it is actually working. And if you compare the result with the suggested result that we should get, we can see that they are similar. So that actually makes sure that our code is debugged accurately. So this is one of the features that any code compiler should have and CodePen plus Continuum Dev do provide that. So this is pretty much how you can make your very own code copilot using any local LLM on your machine. Now that was all about CodePen and how you can generate code, use the autocomplete feature as well as add it on the go. Now that is just one portion of what Continuum.dev could do. If you go and click on plus here, you can actually choose from any of the providers like OpenAI, there's Anthropic, there's Ulama, Grog, Cohere, so it's up to you and you can even do local models using Olama, which means you don't have to actually pay a single penny. So in today's video, what we did is we explored code Gwen and hosting that locally on our machine, as well as we went on and explored how we can use this inside our VS code using this amazing extension, which is continued on Dev. And we made sure that we get all the features that any paid code compiler has. We get the code generation, the edit on the go, which can also do debugging as well as we enable the autocomplete feature, which is a must have for any coding copilot. And this wraps up our video for today. If you found this video insightful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring the notification bell and never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video, where we'll continue to curb your skills with the latest tech. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.